I'm quite knackered so just tiny one but it will be helpful for you and I think it addressed some questions already asked so as you see I added some guidelines which will help you to differentiate or like to extrapolate all the lines to some elements which are further down the image but there may be some problem with that so if I misalign those lines let's say I did something like that in essence it looks okay if I split now this line and you see now you can actually split any of the lines that's one of the new features so if I split that line you will see that my guides for the central line and for the edge lines aren't matching so later I'll make it magically match both top and bottom lines so you know you are not skewing your perspective but at the moment at least you have a guide in presence of these blue dots so if you align them now you know you your perspective isn't misaligned so let's have a play now our a is 75 centimeters and we have one and a half meter we need to play with our perspective and more or less we are done in this scenario remember there were questions about fish eye effect so to some extent perspective control is more or less describing how your lens behaving that's why you need to measure at least two things on the picture that you know the width of this way you can fine-tune the perspective and this way you can prove that other distances are true on some cameras especially 360 cameras if you are zooming out you create additional fisheye effect which is creating curvatures and I'll be addressing that later but you know Rome wasn't built in one day this already should help you to play have a play share the word share your questions share your examples let's make this too awesome so we just get rid of close passes have an amazing evening i'm not gonna go to sleep cheers guys